K-Mac. This one is great. So dig it. Extortion. Yeah. You have it often. Let's go, let's go. Targets those who are falling. Let's go, let's go. Extortion. Because they are some lazy hustlers Now we all at the do scare money and building This is my counter with the extortion villain They known for extorting, robbing and killing Laying down their gun game, how they make a living And on this day, they sent the kite in That all our hustlers, they'll be robbing And in my mind, this wasn't right You taking my shit that I work for all night I couldn't see it, wasn't in my sight Nigga on my left said, shorty, you right. right And fuck that tough talk, we out here tonight Let's see if they bout that come to our home site Then came moonlight, it's business as usual We rockin' as usual Puss it, don't be fooled Sleeping on these dudes, they might just do it too Rid of our work, our cash, and our jewels Extortion You have it all Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm just like I saw him before, right? Listen. How you doing, big bro? You make it to the interview on my That's man. That's right. Okay, that's what it is. What do you want to say? Choke, no joke. Chiggy, choke, no joke. Choke, no joke. Chiggy, choke, no joke. You know what it is. I'm in the building. Y'all see where we at? We at in Harlem. With my man. Harlem Sanctuary. Harlem Sanctuary. Cigar. My 35th, 8th Ave. If you ain't know now, you know. This is a cigar spot that y'all need to be at. If Black you want to come through and get your drink on. You know what I mean? Some wine, liquor, they got it here. All the nice cigars. The, the flavored cigars, they got it here. And as y'all can see, for with my man, the big homie, Devil mm -hmm. Son in the building. What's good, man? Triple OG. Everything good, man. Everything good, man. He said triple OG. Not OG. Not double OG. Triple OG. I mean, when you've been through the things that I've been through, then you earn that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. earn that. So what's going on, man? How, how, how you feeling, man? Man, you know, um, everything is cool. You know what I mean? Working. Staying active, you know, but staying out the way at the same time. Working on a um, a movie called Son of the Son of a Snitch. My guy Michael um, Evans wrote wrote the trilogy, and then um, he came to me and wanted to get it turned into a um, movie a movie script. So I had Mo for Money and Violence. Yeah. Rewrite it over, you know. Him and we wrote. We got a real a real nice joint now. So you know, doing that. And I also was um, consulting on a documentary with uh, Cool C and Steady B. Oh, out of Philly. Yeah, with my man Sarge. Um, uh, you know, I got, of course, I got the Sharp One Enterprises, my consulting and management company, and vice president of the Don Diva Magazine. Just working, man, working. You know what I mean? But staying out the way. You know what I mean? Yeah. What you got? Man, speaking of management. Um, you said manager. You you managed a few people, artists that uh, people you know would know of, right? Like yeah, like when Lakey. I yeah when I first came home in two thousand two, I, I managed Lakey the Kid from out of Queens Bridge. I managed Black Child from Murder Inc. I managed um, Inf, Say Cool, Rafis, Uno Dos. I had a nice little roster, and then I, of course I was the um, vice president of Death Row East with Suge. The second part, because the first one was Big D, my man, and Eric B. But then when I came to 2002, um, I hooked up with Suge through my man, Mike Beck. God bless the dead. Mike Beck put the play in order with my homeboy, Ski. And then, you know, that's how that came. And that was like 2004, 2005. And then, of course, you know, Suge wound up getting shot at. So with, with, with the, the, the Death Row East thing, right? When when they was talking about that, like how how far how far was the conversation as far as making something happen with that? Bro, we was in contracts, you know what I'm saying? And they they had got a got a hold of um the money Suge had and froze it 
and you know he wound up going back to jail again and, and, and it fell apart but we was on hot 97 we was down at the bt awards my man big low shout out to big lows hit you know what i mean and uh, we was really getting ready we was really getting ready to put that together it was it was it was gonna happen and then you know he got jammed up again and um it didn't materialize so but it was, was it was it was big so what was the plans that Shug had y'all yeah, had for death Row? well the thing was this right when i when um mike beck was down there god bless the dad mike beck and mike was 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 trying to get a situation with them and mike hooked my man ski from my, my hood coney allen and put and put me plug and plug me with him and then Shug called us and flew us down there but my man Ski is the one who actually dropped the idea because Ski was like, yo, we don't want just want to do an artist deal. We want to do that Death Row East shit again that y'all never really got to materialize with Tupac. So now I remind you, we talking, I think we talking 2004, 2005 now, this one. And Suge was like, damn, that's a, yeah, I'm with that. So uh, we, he flew us down there. <clears throat> Me and Lake, we went down there, met with him. You know, he did his little due diligence on us to find out who we was as far as all that you know, street shit yeah. and found out dudes was official and really wh was was whoever we said we was, that's who we was. And um, then we started kind of vibing out and was putting the play together. So the play was going to be, Lake was going to be the flagship artist and we was going to get some more artists over here in, 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 on the East Coast and do the Death Row East shit. I mean, we, we shot a video, we, we did an album, a mixtape with DJ Smidge, Death Row is back. Sure came up here to the radio on Hot 97 with um, Case Lay, God bless the dead. You know, we was all on there. Matter of fact, damn, Case Lay. He had just told me he found that whole interview and was supposed to give it to me. And then uh, my man passed away. But yeah, so, you know, we was gonna, it was going to be a whole movement. So when, when, um, when y'all was in talks with the Death Row East and Lakey the Kid and all that, now, is, is Tupac still alive at this point? No, no, no. This is 2004, 2005. Oh, I, I came okay. home 2002. Oh, got you, got you. Right. right. What's so, up, bro? Yeah, come and go. What's up? Oh, no, no, no. We good. Don't worry. We can't even see you, bro. We good. So, um, yeah, was, we, was, we was getting ready to do the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? But nah, Tupac was already gone. You know what I'm saying? So this was 2004, 2005. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, we was in some magazines. Uh, oh, so that's why you said the first one was with The first one was with Big D, D and, and Big Eric D. B. Right. Big D's from Brooklyn, right? Nah, he's from Queens. Queens? Oh, right, cool. Yeah. My man, I just uh, spoke to him last week, too. Matter of fact, and he put me on the phone with Shug. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But, um, yeah, we, you know, it was, it was exciting, man. CNN caught my phone. I don't know how they got my number. Um, then we wound up putting out an album called uh, My Brother's Keeper with Corn Mecca and Lake. Over yeah, at Koch. Yeah, yeah, over at Koch. You know what I'm saying? So, because the whole Death Row East shit, you know. Yeah, it didn't materialize because Shug got locked back up and, you know, he got. He just, uh. K Mac. This one is great. Soul Diggers. Extortion. Yeah.